everybody, welcome to Miss Bobby's Home Cooking. Today I am going to be making a delicious chocolate cake. This cake is really special because I'm making this cake for me and my daughter. It is our birthday and we do share the same birthday and it is a wonderful gift, a beautiful present. And this also is special because I found this chocolate cake in Mr. Snoop Dogg's recipe book. Yes, he has a cookbook. How about that? I did tweak the recipe a little bit just to make it my own. It's very delicious, moist, and I think you're going to enjoy this recipe. So like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up and please leave me a comment. I love the comments. So let's get started. I'm going to wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. This cake is beautiful and it tastes delicious and it is so moist please like and subscribe leave a comment enjoy this video this cake is moist from the very first bite to the last bite okay so we're going to get started we are going to sift two cups of flour I have two teaspoons of baking powder and one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and a half teaspoon of salt that I'm going to sift all together with my flour. And I'm going to add in one cup of cocoa. Sift all together. I'm going to set this to the side and we're going to start working on our wet ingredients. So I have one stick of soft butter, two cups of sugar that I'm going to briefly blend together. I'm going to have three room temperature eggs that I am adding in one at a time. I hope you enjoy the music. I have two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Oops. <laughs> and I have one cup of buttermilk. Uh, all room everything is room temperature. And I'm adding in a half a cup of oil. Okay, so we're gonna add our dry ingredients in a little bit at a time. I'm going to scrape down the sides a little bit. Add more dry ingredients. Looks delicious already. <laughs> I love tasting the batter. I'm going to add the rest of the batter. Scraping down the sides. Very creamy. So I am going to add in three fourths cup of very hot coffee. The coffee just uh, really makes the chocolate um, pop. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but it makes it really rich. I'm gonna spray my pan, place uh, in parchment paper, place parchment paper in with a little bit of cocoa powder. You don't wanna miss this, because um, the cake seems to always stick without this step. We're going to even out our cake batter. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to cook it at 350 for about 35 to 45 minutes depending on your oven. I'm 
the toothpick test was great and I let the cake cool for about 20 minutes before I removed it and I let the cake cool completely before I started putting my frosting on so okay so let's make our frosting our frosting I have about five to six cups of powdered sugar and I am putting in a little bit of coffee about maybe two to three tablespoons of coffee along with uh, one cup of whole milk so I do put in my powdered sugar a little bit at a time and then here we are putting in our um, about three-fourths cup of cocoa powder and I did add one teaspoon of vanilla looks creamy and rich okay so the cake is cooled down plenty for us to put our frosting on and I do like putting the frosting on and I make plenty so and when you're making your frosting of course remember you can you can make it however you like uh, you can adjust it to your taste I really like the fact that Snoop Dogg has a very delicious cake recipe and like I said earlier I did change it to make my own but it is delicious thank you mr. Snoop Dogg Mm, let's cut it and give it a try. So please like and subscribe. Looks delicious. Oh, and I tell you, this cake is very creamy. Very moist and delicious. From the very first bite to the very last bite. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. Enjoy. Enjoy.